Wairo mbade njagala kuogira ku interview is excellence Robert Chagula nye sentamu Eji yako zene CNN Now, abantu wamo muinzo kubwa mwalabi da interview enu Na yaba tenaba kujiraba Osobo ugenda ku Facebook page ya Bobby Wine Na ujiraba Nange kenyini kaklipu wako nakatadeyo ku Facebook page ya Uganda mpia Nalabi ni comrade uh, JB Mwongi na yakatadeyo Na ye, nga interview yu nana juuliriza Nenji malako, ila nenji tegira bulu unji nyo Nga obatu nababa kujiraba Nandi kusabi na awoge, ndo ujirabe yu na Na inza ate chintu chena sinzo kujamu enyo ila chenzize okudiscussinga na mwe ye point his excellence jiayo gede na agamba anti the international bodies particularly united states of america they do not need dictators to further their interests in africa bubo eni agambi nc ezitu wobu ya ambi particularly na mentioning america kubanga america jiba mbuzi zako eweleza dictator billions and billions of course kuyamba ba na uganda ni hati nechidala ba muweleza sentezo because he fathers their interest so they facilitate him to father their interest ni ebo bubo eni agambi ya chintu echidi very very important ya agambi international bodies mwabatu wobu ya ambi particularly america anti temu ina facilitating sentence no temu ina anga zoba dictator oloku wa wakule debi nitu ya mwe you do not need to facilitate dictators in africa to further your interests ni inga sinaba na kuchogira kwenye kugenda maso kugamba why that is very important wadenga bachi manjini inga ba ino kuzuku ka njaga lagu kenyinyo ulizebi gambo vya bobby wine then ingenda kukoma u of ugandans So in terms of what happens next, I mean, obviously, you know, you didn't make it to the presidency, but you have an enormous amount of influence in Uganda. How are you using it going forward? Well, um, like I've been mentioning that uh, the entire agenda is not just for me to become president, but to see freedom, to see change and to see respect for human rights, to see that the, Africa, the, the lives of the people of Uganda and the people of Africa have the same regard and the same dignity like the rest of the world. We uh, stood for the election and indeed we won it. Uh, although General Museveni, using the military and other institutions of state, declared himself president, we are now taking our front to the international uh, front. We want to call out uh, the funders, the international community, to stop funding for the homegrown terror of General Museveni, to stop paying for the murder of innocent men and women in Uganda. And we want the uh, international community, and in particular the American taxpayer, to know um, that it is their taxpayers' dollars that, are, uh, that is paying for the abuse of human rights in Uganda. And we know that that can stop. We want the world to know that Africa does not need dictators. And we want the United States and the entire uh, development community to know that they do not need dictators in Africa to further their interests. The interests of the United States can well be uh, furthered with a free Uganda, with human rights observed in Uganda and in Africa at large. So from the U.S.'s perspective, they will tell you that they don't just simply write Museveni a blank check. They don't just give out a blank check to Uganda. The money they spend, the billions of dollars they give to Uganda every year actually goes towards lifting ordinary Ugandan citizens out of poverty, many of whom are young people, including your supporters. What do you say to that? Well, I would say that there is what, uh, the, there is a certain rosy picture that is painted uh, for the international community about Uganda. And here I am speaking for the millions of Ugandans uh, on ground. I was elected by millions of Ugandans. I represent uh, more than 85% of the people of Uganda. And this is the truth that I'm giving to the world, that what General Museveni, uh, the image, the rosy image that General Museveni is painting about Uganda is actually not what's happening. And that is why General Museveni contracts various companies, including a comp an American company called Mercury, to paint a rosy picture about Uganda. But the reality on ground is that um, the billions of dollars that are given to the regime in Uganda are actually used to suppress dissent, to suppress all rights of the people of Uganda. And final question.
ndozo chitegi diburunji. Sengara zungu, bate gere chintu echo, Africa will be free. Because haba singa, ebi nitu ino bogira anga kubu ogezi. Mula bie many times, e UK, baba denga ba dis, babi discussing ako, nienga nothing is done. Ni mula ba mu European Parliament, inga babi ogira ako, nienga nothing is done. Luachi, wabe iranga o debate, wabe iranga o debate mwo na, nini baga amba? Of course we are not Ugandans. However much, tuwa gala oku maintaining a democracy monsio na. Na ye, the well-being of the Ugandans Ugandans comes first or our interests come first. Kali mganda wangeyo ina joli chenja galo tegerenti, interests is our way, will always come first. Nginda chiku diramu, abazungu, mula nyonga ba discussinga mo parliament, mo UK, European parliament, aba America, ba senita nga ba vayo nebogele bi intubino, ebi genda maso, BBC neba kula zi documentary, CNN neba kula zi documentary, abazungu neba laba ebi intubino, nebiba nyiza, aba labanji neba tukuatibu enaku, na yobo uli yao, no uli la, ntiba weleza billions ne billions ba azu wa de dictator. And this has not been happening in only Uganda, but in Africa. Always dictators have been facilitated. Neenga ataba baba wa sentezo, wachimanyi, neenga anku gambi, pate gira, ntu omsajyo na taba, ntu omsajyo na abdaktinga, ntu omsajyo na akole wikolo wivyo na against democracy. Neene webu uza na ugamba, ntu wachi basigala baba wa sent. Because tibagenda kujaba tuluwa nile ntaro zafi. Na ye at least, weba angabasa ze kobu ya ambiobu, mkubuli da mazima chikuru nyo, ebi ntu ebi mwebi kumi laba dictator muntebe is money. Urae losi ze wano kukabili laba zungu. Urae losi ze wano kutende li zaba zungu. Na ye njagala nkugubuli denti, bayi no mkono mwenene nyo, ne mkumi laba dictator muntebe mo Afrika. Particularly ne Uganda, because mo seven cent is afu no kuvewelu nyingi nyo. Chachiri chen kugambi, not because they don't know what is happening, they know what is happening. Niba genda kuweing scale Niba debating a meeting is awe Niba gamba chichia chisinga Musebe ni waba president ya atukoli lachi Njali sumali ya atuluwa nida Nebi lala nebi lala binji Niba sigalanga ba mufandinga Na ye chisingo bubi Niba tafayo Sentezu ziba weleza Azikoze sezachi We waba zungu weba koli renso vi Ila babu wanyo ya gedeburu unji nyo Kufanga Amerika fina tujimanyi Ekoze sa billions and billions nezu weleza mu Uganda Amerika particularly nga Bubi wenji ya mention nize na gamba Nti naba Amerika be njini nga haba ntuwa America ba citizens ni oba atanitbani tanso kufollowing a sentence ni kubanga wa sajaba tuwa sa suru omu suru ezo sentence ba wele za mseveni ni bata haba ntu ni ba abdakitinga haba ntu si sentence za America angansi wabula sentence za mui wa msolo mwa America sentence za mui wa msolo mwa America Nienga abantu wabuli jo, nga haba America bawa wa manji government ya abwe, e ya amba abantu wabavu. Of which it has to be the intention. Because tuliba nakudu, we are a third world country, tuwe tagisobu ya ambi. Na yega problem chiliche nkugambi enti, weba weleza sentezo, tebazi following, tebazi following, chiche zigenda kukola, enti zigula mundu, ze yonge la kutabantu, ze yonge debaga gawaza buga gawaza. Golo za luachi scandals, those are corruption, zibe dao, haba nene ni bagena, weba siba yu naku lumubiri, ni bagatu wala mkoti, kubuza abuza ba zoom, Ngunti koke sente za biwa niba nutuwa baku wata Nini wa manani wabata Nihenga hata chine chintu chikuru This is very important Iranzi nye yongiro kweba za chagula nyi senta mu E chintu ye menshu ni nzengi nsiyo ne mulaba America and other countries You do not need dictators to further your interests in Africa I will repeat America, European countries that give aid to Africa, that help third world countries, you do not need dictators to further your interests in Africa, particularly in Uganda. You do not need Museveni to further your interests. Any other civilian ruler, any other democratically elected leader can still further your interests. Why? We can never do away from that. We can never do away from America intervening in Africa or intervening in Uganda, we cannot because these are super power countries. These are rich countries. We shall always need their help. Kati omuntu ye nawa uli langa njogila wentio. Nga gamba haa. Mentalite ya babantu baji. Mentalite ya babantu baji siruwaza. Bulika sila babu gila kubo zungu. Ok. Baba nga batu siruwaza. Luwachi musebe ni avayo buli jona na nayo gila baba zungu. Wene hati wetutu kamu kusaba sente. Ateja dukila mba zungu. We are single kwa gila baba zungu. Ni haba mtu wa sinzo mube zao. Sente za baba zungu. So as long as te tufujia president. Na hatu jamu povate jetulimu. Ngenda kuchida as long as te tufujia nye president ya ya garansie na tuja mpupa cheje tulimu ever tuja kubanga tueta agisobu ya ambibu waba zungu mkilize mgane kubiruwa debye tuji na maleri ya ebola janevi la labinji nyo ever tuja kueta agisobu ya ambibu waba zungu mpozi nga tufunyo mkule mbeze anajia na akula akula nyensi ya fi mula ba kenya kenya yomujilabe na kuzino kenya techewo la nyo sente 
Kenya techea wala nyo sente mbazungu Kenya naku zino ya tandu kwa ukwere zao Uganda tunaba tuka mdalerio Because government eri corrupt Ni utu sasulo msolo zutia Sente teziba mara Sente ziko labi intubi chizina kola Tuesa anga Nga tu sasulo msolo nga zibidua Na wazunga watu wade sente ni inga tina zozi koze Chinezo nga zibidua Ni inga that's what America and other countries Have to understand that you do not need dictators in Africa Not only Uganda to further your interests Of course if the interests are genuine And they are good for both countries Say for example particularly America If the interests are good that they help America And they are good for Uganda Why wouldn't any leader father them why wouldn't any good leader father them unless the interests are only beneficial to one side if they're only beneficial to one side then any leader would be naive to father the interest the interests have to be good for both countries but these countries use dictators because dictators do not care they do not even sometimes revise these interests as long as there is money to get that's all they want the money is going to help their army they are going to steal the money they are going to enrich themselves but most particularly like Museveni the money is always spent in the military because as of now if it wasn't the military Museveni wouldn't have been the president it's the military so most of the money taxpayers money this aid money that comes in from those country the all the money is going to the military now who are the people behind all the abductions in Uganda the military who are the people who have been killing people the military so actually taxpayer money from other developed countries is helping dictators in Africa kill their own people because they think that only dictators can further their interests no any other leader would like relationships with the US Ghana, Ghana. any other leader would like interests with the US with the UK and most of the European countries because that's how countries develop because at the end of the day there are so many things that these relationships help with technology and some other beneficial factors that come with foreign relationships but for a very long time these dictators have been kept in power for a very long time just because one country is only concentrating on their interests unless those interests are not good for us Uganda and you only facilitating Museven because you know any other leader will revise the interests but if the interests are good and beneficial to both countries any other leader would further them any other leader tetuka abirira bazungu nedda ngawola bantu Museven ebisere byali achogera nyo bobi wine aina foreign aid bobi wine aina ba muyamba Bwe ina bawa nawa muyamba neda Tunuli la ekonomi ya fe Tunuli la ekonomi ya fe Sente zinge zimubeza ozo Na sente zivamba zungu Nja ulo chiji aina So abazungu waba ino kutegi rechi intuwecho It was very good I know they know I know they know But it was very good Bwe ina acho ogera Kusie nena Abantu wunani bachitegi rechi No America wansi na achitegi rechi E sente za fe Taxpayers money Zuwe rezi wa muyuganda Atene zita abantu Watu naba kulaba interview yeyo Njaga lojirabe Nenze njaga debu agazi Kweba za honarebo chagula nyi senta mu Kubeira very very articulate and brief Ne most importantly Na atalika nsonge yo Na rabulida You do not need dictators in Africa To further your interests You do not need dictators in Africa To further your interests Most dictators in Africa have managed To stay in power because of the foreign aid That comes from the developed world And they condemn them They usually condemn them but like I told you, they weigh, they always weigh Ugandan people to live in democracy or our interests. And their interests will always come first. So I would like to thank the Honorable Chagulani Sentamu for mentioning that so that even the citizens of those countries know. Bagaranyo, 